there are many aspects of life in which science research enlightens and informs, leading to greater awareness of how human beings can excel in the many and varied walks of life on earth. One field where extraordinary breakthroughs have been made is in the rapidly evolving world of sports science. Here's what one expert has to say on the subject. Well, as you know, I'm an expert on just about everything, and science is no exception. Science Week is all about exploring the extraordinary, and one of the most extraordinary things about that word is how impossible it is to say it without describing how out of the ordinary it actually is. Because, like, it's extraordinary! Do you follow me? Yeah. One of the great claims that science makes is the great advances that have been made in the area of sports technology. Specifically, I refer to performance of elite athletes and to aiding speedy recovery for hitherto career-ending and appalling injuries. But, like, what is an elite athlete? You know, I mean, there was a great hullabaloo made recently about Tommy Bow and his body check program. We spent an hour looking at Tommy Bow while they scientifically proved what a great body he has. Who cares? Today, we are going to scientifically prove what an enormous ego I have. Yes, this is Ego Check. Matthew, please. Get me wire out of the way here. Will you find God's sake do your job properly? My goodness sake, Paul. A bloody moron, these people. Thank you, man. <sighs> Amateurs I have to deal with. The first thing to establish is how many active brain cells he has by means of this extraordinary pompousographer device. For generations, researchers have been trying to ascertain whether you're born with an ego this big or if it's something you acquire on Irish radio. Are we genetically disposed or is an ego this vast simply a gift? Can technology prevent your ego from getting a career-threatening blow? It's a mystery. Well, George, we have the results which have determined that your ego cannot be damaged. It's simply so vast and so enormous that it is uninjurable. Sure, I could have told you that, Coxie. So there's the proof. So which would you rather have? Tommy Bow's legs, which admittedly are fast, or my enormous ego, which is unshakable and fast. I know what I'd rather have. 